is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do the Twin Flame reading. This will be from August the 10th through the 24th. Keep in mind that this is a general Twin Flame reading. Only take the message if it resonates with you. I will be looking at both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's see where the Divine Masculine is blocked at when it comes to the relationship. We have love and we have grief. They're blocked with love and grief. If you guys have a quick question, I am on Instant Go as fire underscore intuition. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, all of my information is below. So for the Divine Feminine, you guys are blocked with peace and trust was the first card that flipped over. So I'm going to take that one. So we have peace and we have trust. Let's see what the overall energy is between you guys. We have acceptance. So with the acceptance card, it says, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So both of you guys are having a hard time accepting the relationship for what it is or where it stands. You're wanting to be at peace. You're having trust issues. The divine masculine is wanting love and they're grieving over the relationship when it comes to you. Grief is about losing something and appreciating it after it's lost. So they lost you within this connection because, of course, there could be a separation. And now, you know, they're having regrets. And they're also blocked with love. So wanting to commit to seeing the good things when it comes to love, especially when it comes to you. So... Let's go ahead and see how they're feeling. You guys are blocked with peace. So, for some of you guys, it's time for you to release the negative energy of the Divine Masculine. And then we have trust. So, just trusting how you feel. For some of you guys, you guys are kind of questioning how you feel. It's like you're listening to your inner voice, but you're not. Something's telling you to go back. Something's telling you not to go back. So, it's like you're having trust issues within yourself but it's because of the things that the divine masculine has done to you in the past all right so you're not trusting your intuition you're not trusting how you truly feel you're questioning your feelings towards them or just the situation in general so let's see how they feel right now and then we'll see how you guys are feeling How does the divine masculine feel right now? We have let go of control issues. Wow. So they're letting go of their control issues. And they have engagement. They're letting go of control issues because they want the relationship to extend to a higher level of commitment. And how are you feeling right now? How is the Divine Feminine feeling right now towards the Divine Masculine? Oh, way too many. That's like nine cards. All right. How is the Divine Feminine feeling towards the Divine Masculine right now? We have separation. So you guys are in your feelings about the separation or you guys are dealing with the separation. But you're blocked with peace. So that means for some of you guys, you're not happy. Because you guys are in separation. And then we have worth waiting for. So... You're hoping that this is going to be worth waiting for. You're like, okay, I'm in the separation. And then we have worth waiting for. So with this trust card, it's like funny. That's why I said it's like you guys are trusting yourself, but you're not. It's like you're listening to your intuition, but you're not. 
but then part of you knows like okay it's worth waiting for divine timing but because you guys been in separation for so long that's why you guys are not at peace in this relationship and then we have children so children is overall energy your love life is being affected by children so for some of you guys you guys have children with the divine masculine or divine feminine or this can be like inner child wounding that needs to be healed Or they can have children with someone else and it's affecting you guys' relationship or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. So let's see what we got, guys. Spirit of the Universe, please give me some messages for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. August 10th through the 24th. hear noise in the background it's my fan next to me all righty so this is it let's see what let's see what's on their mind let's see what's on your mind how you guys feel how they feel let's pull the overall energy as well so when it comes to the divine masculine how are they feeling right now well let's see what's on their mind first what is on the divine masculine's mind we have the Six of Swords, we have the Page of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands. So what's on their mind, they're trying to be at peace, or they want peace between the two of you guys. They want to release the baggage from the past, they want to let go of things, they want you guys to come together, Six of Swords. We have the Page of Wands, they want to open up communication, they want to talk about the past and possibly starting over. With the Eight of Wands, this will be them opening up communication. I feel like the communication between you guys is blocked right now. And yeah, we have the two of swords. The communication is blocked. So either you block them, they blocked you, or you guys just don't communicate with each other. But what's on their mind is opening up communication and wanting to start over. Page of Wands are just wanting to talk to you about something. So they might be wanting to like, I feel like they're going to start with flirting. Okay, page of wands, yeah, ten of cups. They're going to be a little flirtatious, but at the same time emotional when they open up communication here because they want to be at peace. So remember, they let go of control issues when it comes to you because they want the relationship to move forward. They want to bring you guys together. So they're not going to be aggressive. Their approach is going to be kind of soft-spoken because they want you guys to come out of this stalemate, two of swords. The Two of Swords is also them looking back at, you know, how they acted in the connection between the two of you guys. So, what's on your mind? We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. And the Nine of Swords. So, you guys have become more confident, Queen of Wands. And you're focusing on yourself here. Standing your ground as well. That's what the Queen of Wands does. So you're being confident, you're standing your ground. For some of you guys, I feel like the Divine Masculine has opened up communication or has been communicating to you, and you're the Two of Swords, you're blocking them out. Because we have the Ten of Wands, you're burdened, you're stressed, you're tired, you're overwhelmed. And you feel like they're going to bring you drama and chaos. Like You feel like if they open up communication, it's going to be negative. It's going to stress you out more. It's going to cause more burdens. We do have Saturn up here. You know, we are in retrograde. So for some of you guys, you're like, nope, I'm not falling back. I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to respond. I don't want to pay attention to them. They're lying because we do have trust. So you don't trust them. But at the same time, it's like you're like, I hope this is worth waiting for. So you're kind of undecided on how you feel. It looks like the divine masculine knows how they feel now. And you're, you're undecided. You don't know how you feel because we have the nine of swords. The nine of swords is you stepping back into your willpower but at the same time, I feel like there's days where you're like strong, you're confident, you're bold, you're courageous, you're moving forward, you're not looking back, you come out of this to the wands. But then there's days where you're like stressed and you have fears and you have regrets and you're worried and you reflect back on the past and think about what has happened between you guys, which is why I feel like you don't trust your inner voice or trust your intuition. Yeah, Queen of Swords, you think about all the things that have happened in the past. 
So all the damage that has happened in the relationship, how they hurt you really bad, the Queen of Swords, how you had to cut them off, how you had to approach them, talk to them in the past, how you had to deal with the situation. The Queen of Swords is also someone that's overly emotional. She doesn't know how to control her emotions and feelings. So it's like you said things to them and if you were to really sit here and think about what you said, you don't remember what you said because you were mad, you were upset. And if you're the Queen of Wands and mixed in this, with the queen of swords and i already know that it was bad and that's why you don't want to fall back into this ten of wands for some of you guys you feel like it's another you know cycle being repeated and when i say cycle you're like i'm not going to get back in that lesson with them you have three of pentacles you feel like it's going to be repeated because you've already tried to come together with them you've already tried to collaborate with them you try to make it work you try to take action and nothing happened for some of you guys this was a third party or there was an interference between you guys. And that's what's also on your mind. You're thinking about that too. Because for some of you, it's like the interference or the third party hurt you and affected you just as much as they did. So it's like you had to heal both of the situations, them and the other person. And this is what's on their mind. So how they feel, we have the Empress, we have the Hangman, we have the King of Wands wanting to take action. So both you guys are the queen and king of wands. You guys both want to take action, but it's like the way you guys want to take action is different. You're taking action in a way of... So it's like you're taking action, but your action is more focused on you. So the action that you're taking is focusing on you, how you feel, what you want, what you need. Not taking action towards them. Their action... Is wanting to come towards you king of wands because we have the empress so how they feel you're on their mind you're in their feelings the hangman they don't know where they stand with you but they do want to take action we already seen they want to open up communication eight of wands this is the passion the chemistry the love between you guys why is this hangman here the knight of pentacles and they don't know where they stand with you because it was a waiting process. Like, it was a wait period. I'm just going to say that. It was like a waiting period. Because the Knight of Pentacles moves very slow. You guys can be dealing with a Virgo. We have the Hangman, Pisces energy. The King and Queen of Wands. Fire energy, the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I have all the signs up here. But it's like, you're definitely on their mind. But they don't know where they stand with you. So it's like they want to take action. They want to open up communication. Why is the King of Wands here? Justice. Yeah, they want to they want to make things right. They want things to be fair and balanced between you guys. And they're now seeing that they were the ones who caused this imbalance between you guys. Justice, karma, the karmic energy between you guys. You guys can also be dealing with a Libra here. So it's like they want to right their wrongs. And with the Empress, you being on their mind, a new beginning. Yeah, Six of Cups. Definitely, they want this soulmate twin flame connection to come back together. Now, what's on your mind? Well, not what's on your mind. How you feel towards them. We have Temperance. Some of you guys are dealing with a Sag. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. So how you're feeling towards the Divine Masculine, it's like with Temperance, you want to forgive them. You want to heal. You want to find balance. You want to reconcile with them. You want to start over. In your feelings, you're like, you know what? I would love to start over with them and have a reconciliation. I would love for our relationship to deepen. I would love for things between us to grow. But with the Knight of Wands, you don't trust that they're going to be in your life long term. So with the Knight of Wands, you're like, oh, if I bring them back into my life or if they come back into my life, they're just going to be in and out. It's not going to be long term. And that's where you guys are having this trust issue. Because you don't trust that they're going to stay and give you the commitment that you want. So when you're feeling, you're just kind of like all over the place. And that's what temperance is, is with, as well. Like you can't keep your emotions in order. So you don't know how you feel. So like I said, some days you're like really good, emotionally balanced, stable. You can deal with it. But then some days you think back on the past. And you're like, you know what? I remember when they didn't appreciate me. They didn't love me. They didn't care about me. They didn't recognize me. I wasn't important. When they left me to be with someone else or 
when our relationship was unstable. So like in your feelings, it's like you would hope for them to do right and come back towards you guys and stay and make the relationship stable. But you don't trust that they're going to do that this time. And with the temperance card, we have the king of wands. Okay. I mean the king of pentacles. I'm sorry. So for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with an earth sign person. But this also is a past life connection here. And temperance is a spiritual card. So... You guys are kind of reflecting back on the past. For some of you guys, it's like deja vu. Things that you experienced or went through in this relationship, it's like you feel like you've been there and done that. And that's why we have the King of Pentacles of Temperance. You're like, no, if I let them back in, if I bring them back in my life, they're going to do the same thing over again. We know the King of Pentacles can be insensitive. They know how to treat you right, but they're insensitive. And that's what I was saying in one of my readings one day. And what I mean by that is the King of Pentacles, they can be insensitive by not showing emotions and feelings behind things they do, but they'll give you everything you want and need. And that's also one of your fears. You're like, okay, if they come back and give me everything I want and need, are they going to give me their emotions? Are they going to, you know, express to me how they feel? Because that was also an issue in the past, then opening up their emotions and feelings, which is why you're not emotionally stable when it comes to your feelings towards them. So the overall energy we have is the Emperor, the Chariot, the World card. So some of you guys are dealing with the Aries or Taurus. We have Cancer. We have the World card. So they want to they wanna change things. With the World card, they want to end the old way of doing things. They want to end the old way of seeing things. The World card is also about karmic completion, so wrapping up a karmic cycle. So for some of you guys... There is karma that is being wrapped up between you guys, which is why we have the world card for the outcome. So things are going to shift and change and move forward. The chariot is about your your head and heart being balanced and being able to move forward. And the emperor is about them offering this commitment and being stable. We have the emperor and the empress. So this will be the connection, the relationship. Why is the world card here? The hermit. Yeah, they want a new relationship. They went within. The Ace of Pentacles, they want to make you a priority. They want to finally put you first now. So you're their top priority. Hermit, Ace of Pentacles. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Wands. So, like, they want everything to be brand new. They want a brand new beginning. Now, let's look at their feelings with the Romance Angels. And then we'll go into their blockages. So we have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, and that's what they did. They let go of their control issues, the emperor letting go, which is why you guys are moving forward the chariot. Because I feel like if they were still being in control, you guys would have been stuck here. With the emperor, we have, yeah, the ace of cups, they're letting go of control issues, and they would have finally, you know, keep the love that you want and need. For some of you guys, they were keeping you at arm's length. Like I said, they weren't expressing and showing you their true emotions and feelings. They were on and off, so you felt like the love was unrequited. So with let go of control issues, we have the four of wands. Yeah. So that would be the relationship between you guys. They try to control the relationship, the foundation, or anything that you guys had together. And they let that go. Because they know the only way you guys can come together is if they did let go of trying to be in control. Because they've seen it got them nowhere. For some of them, they're now stable, financially stable. Or maybe they got their, their own place or, you know... They're getting themselves together. And that also is helping them release them co their control issues. Because of the King of Pentacles here. Because you know the King of Pentacles sometimes can be. I'm not going to say like a gold digger. But you know. They can be like kind of like a leech. Where you're doing everything. Paying for everything. But to everyone else. How they look and how they come off. People will think they got it together. But you are the one doing everything in the relationship here. So they're becoming more stable. Which is making them more confident. With the engagement card, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. We have the nine of wands. So they're staying strong. They want to overcome the obstacles between the two of you guys. For some of them, they were in the dark night of the soul. So going through some type of awakening or transformation. We have the sun card. Yeah. They were going through the dark night of the soul. And now we have the sun card. They're happy. They're positive now. 
and I'm not going to say 100% positive, but their energy has definitely shifted, and that's why they want to take action, because they have courage now and confidence. So it's like they want to bring the relationship back together now. We have separation for how you feel. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. We have the three of swords. Yeah, you guys were separated due to a third party or just due to heartbreak. And there was a lot of healing that needed to be done. And with worth waiting for divine time and is at work in your love life. So let's see what's worth waiting for. The two of cups. So for some of you guys, this situation is going to be worth waiting for. This will be you guys coming into union. Two of cups here. It's worth waiting for. So for some of you guys, trust how you feel. And release the negative energy. So that you guys can come into peace and shift into this union. Now when it comes to their blockages, they were blocked with love. So it says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And with that, we have the five of cups. They weren't looking at the good things when it came to love the five of cups so for some of you guys with this five of cups it's like they just gave up they accepted it they were like you know what this relationship is over fine i'm not going to go back towards this person i'm never going to be in love with someone again i'm never going to love again you know they were thinking negative they didn't see the good in love but the reason why is because they know that they were the ones who caused the relationship to end with the five of cups you have to pay the swords you know for some of you guys it was due to you know them blocking you out it was due to you finding out significant information it was due to them lying to you not you know being honest we have grief and it says i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so i told you they're grieving because they had to lose you five of cups pay the swords to understand and appreciate the connection the relationship with that we have the prince of cups which is the knight of cups that's why they want to come towards you and have this reconciliation because they see what they lost so they they don't want it to be a loss now five of cups now they want to see the good in love or the good things when it comes to love and with your blockages we have peace and we have trust so with the peace card i am a being of love and i release all negative energy so you were wanting to be in love, like you were wanting to love them, you were wanting to express your love, or you were, but you weren't getting that back in return. So there was just a lot of negative energy created between you guys due to that. And you guys just weren't in peace because you didn't know how they felt. Yeah, in a cup, you didn't know how they felt, and that's because they walked away. Okay? So you guys were kind of lost, you didn't know what was going on. And when they walked away, they didn't tell you how they felt. So you didn't know if they walked away emotionally and released all their feelings towards you. We have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. The seven of cups. Yeah, see, so you guys weren't trusting your intuition. For some of you guys, there was like, you guys created some illusions as well. Because you guys were confused. You didn't know what to believe, what to trust, what was going on. But this is how they made you feel, though. Yeah, to a pinnacle, they made you feel like this. Because things weren't balanced between you guys. There was an imbalance. You were trying to learn from the relationship. And every time you thought you were learning something from the relationship. Or learning in the relationship with them. Things were just still unbalanced. And with the seven of cups. Like I said you guys were just very confused. All you know is that you really love them. But then it's like at the same time. You're like I love this person but I can't trust them. There was no balance. So that's why your trust between them has been iffy. Like on and off. You trust that they're going to do right, but then you trust that they... I mean, then you like, no, I don't trust them. So it's like, you guys are just blocked with trust because you don't know how to feel. You don't know if you should really just trust them in general because they fail by you so many times. So let's pull some advice and then we'll pull a spirit message. Spirit of the Universe, what advice do you have for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine? From August 10th through the 24th. So I'm going to take the first one at the top. We have don't back down. And it says don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. And that's what they're doing. Like they're not backing down. The divine masculine isn't. Let's see what advice we have for you guys. 
we have sacred space which was the one that was under that which is funny so it says create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine so you guys need to connect with the divine your higher self trusting your intuition and once you guys connect with the divine your higher self you know whoever you guys believe in your spirit guides god whoever you know just you guys need to connect with them and they'll be able to give you clarity within the situation they'll bring you at peace and your higher self will let you know if you will be able to trust them or not so the overall advice for both you guys is infinite supply it says you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows so both of you guys are supplied with love I feel like neither one of you guys think that, feel that, know that, or believe it. Because they just believe that you don't love them no more. You believe that they've never loved you or they're not in love with you no more. So just know that love is all around you guys. That's the overall advice for both of you guys. Let's pull a spirit message with the Arch Archangel Michael Oracle. And then that would be our twin flame reading. Angel Michael, what advice do you have for the divine masculine and the divine feminine? August 10th through the 14th. I mean, August 10th through the 24th. So for some of you guys, you guys do have children with this person. Because remember, we had children for the energy between both you guys. Okay, and with the divine masculine, their spirit message is your children are watched over by angels. So for some of you guys, you guys have children and because you guys are in separation or not dealing with each other, you know, they haven't seen the children or they haven't been around the family and they're worried. I don't feel like they're worried in the sense of you you did something, but you know, they want to be around the children. They want to be around you guys. They want their family back. And they also want to be a better parent and prove themselves to the child or the children. And your spirit message from the Archangel Michael Oracle is use your imagination and you'll see the answer. So you guys are getting the same thing over and over again. Trusting your intuition, going into a sacred space. And now you guys have used your imagination and you will see the answer. So again, going within, like, you know, this could be in dreams. This could be meditation. This can be Reiki, anything, anything that's in a meditative state. So it says, dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways. I greatly and gracefully accept and appreciate your help. And then it says, describe the situation. All right. So that is the twin flame reading from August the 10th through the 24th. All right, guys, if you guys would love to book a twin flame reading with me or just any reading in general, all my information is below and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.